Welcome back to Poem Mr. Channel. In this video, we will introduce the power communication method for new posts on Smart LB12K Solar Hybrid Inverter, while also providing an overview of this outstanding performance. The post on Smart LB12K not only supports inverter output, bypass output, and AC generator power supply for loads, but also intelligently utilizes solar and AC power to charge energy storage batteries, as well as supports grid selling. A single device supports a rated output power of up to 10 kW and can support up to 6 units in power to rapidly expand output scales of solar energy storage systems. With a solar input power of up to 12 kW, it can accommodate a maximum 600 volt solar array. Dual MPPT supports a maximum input current of 80 amperes, and anti-backflow design ensures 100% prevention of reverse power flow to solar array. The rated AC output voltage supports single-phase 120 volt output or split-phase 208 volt or 240 volt output. It is suitable for 40 to 62 volt lithium battery or lead acid battery with charging and discharging current of up to 200 amperes. Building multiple BMS communication protocol facilitate one-click battery communication matching. With a built-in Wi-Fi module, users can remotely monitor inverter data and data via the mobile app. With a IP65 waterproof rating, the inverter is suitable for various application environments. It can be externally connected to rapid shutdown switch and enable building RSD function. With an independent generator input port, it can independently control AC input power source, such as utility or generator power. Next. Let's discuss how to establish parallel communication between two inverters after completing the battery connection for both inverters. First, connect the current sharing line. Use current sharing cables to connect the current sharing ports of the two devices according to the illustrated connection pattern. Since each port needs to correspond to another port, it is recommended to use cables of four different colors, black, gray, brown, and blue, according to the wiring sequence showing in the video. After connecting the current sharing line of both devices according to the diagram, proceed to connect the power CAN ports of the two devices using communication cables, following the illustrated connection pattern. This completes the power communication connection. Now close the battery circuit breakers and then long press the power switch on right side of the inverter to start it. Then long press the enter button to enter the setting and set item 32 to PAL. Rapid the same process for the other device. Finally, restart the inverters. The master or slave icon will be displayed in the top right corner of the interface, indicating successfully communication. Now configure the required parameters on the master, and after waiting for about 1 minute, the slave will synchronize the relevant settings. That concludes our video. We hope this has provided you with further insight into the post of Smart LV12K. Thank you for watching and see you in our next video.